Hi everyone, this is Crystal and I am off to Shambhala here on YouTube. And I'm really excited that I have finally learned how to do screen sharing videos. <laughs> if you happen to watch my first three videos, I was literally taking my video camera and videotaping my screen because I just I didn't know how to do screen sharing and I didn't even know what it was called and it took me a while to figure that one out but I finally figured it out and I ordered a microphone um, and my microphone just came in the mail today so I I'm very excited to make this video because I've always wanted to be able to do this and I just never knew how <laughs> Anyway, so I might do a video on how to make these screen sharing videos. So if this is something you're interested in, you know, doing yourself, um, really all you need to do is just look up how to screen share. And I'm using a program called Screencast O Matic. And it's so easy, I can't even believe how easy it is. So I'm just really excited to finally being, be able to do this. And what I'm really excited about is that you're watching my video. So thank you so much. And I hope that you get a little something out of this. Um, if you are new to eBay, um, this is probably going to be a good video. Or even if you're just new to marketing online, in general this will be a valuable video I have had quite a bit of success in website and blogging um, using keywords in websites blogging using social media mark on, uh, online marketing I've, I've had quite a lot of success and actually t it's funny because one of the reasons why I like eBay is because I don't really worry too much about doing a lot of marketing <laughs> and I can just focus on the business of sourcing listing and then buyers will find me but the one marketing thing that you need to be concerned about above all else is your keywords in your title um, I notice that a lot of people that aren't familiar with how marketing works online, they'll put, you know, a really nice title up here that is maybe like a complete sentence, um, not just a list of words, you know, that don't really sort of relate to each other. Um, or that don't relate to each other as though it were like you are speaking. So um, I think that takes a little bit of practice. Um, in fact, I have a girlfriend I'm going to be helping to get started on eBay. And the first thing she said to me was, I don't know what to write in for the descriptions and things. She's like, I think I can figure it out, but I don't know what to write in. So hopefully I'll be able to help her with this. And that sort of was the inspiration for me to do this particular video. Now, this one to me was a no-brainer, um, and I think it's a really good example of how you can take one item and sort of market it through keywords to people who are searching for different things. Um, this is a, ca a red cape that I got. It's velvet. It's missing a button it's really well constructed and it's uh, got this really nice satin lining um, but there's no tag on it so I didn't have one of the things that this particular item is missing is some kind of a brand name to attract people um, but I wasn't worrying about that because I knew as soon as I saw this that it would be s something that people in general are going to be looking for especially around this time of year because it it can be used as a costume um, but also I mean it really is kind of a neat piece for people that just like to wear different types of clothing it's just as soon as I saw it I'm like I knew and it sold within a day I think of posting um, so anyways and I almost I was going to try to sell it for more and then once I realized that the button was missing I'm like okay I'm just gonna put it up kinda low ball and and uh, 
you'll hear me he, I've said that a lot in my last few videos I gotta stop saying that I could have sold it for more but um <laughs> that'll be a topic for another video so let's get back on to the keywords um so here I'm just saying specifically what it is and I just like to do this this is just sort of my style I like to have in capital letters usually what the brand is and then I go into the description words um, but because I didn't have a brand I just typed in red cape in capital um, so that's sort of my visual the way I just use a visual uh, a way to attract people to my to my listings um, and then the rest of the words are basically just search terms that people could be using so I don't worry about words like with or the or of or what other kinds of words might you know any of those types of words anything that is completely unnecessary uh, so like here velvet satin lining high low high low now here I typed high low twice because somebody might be searching for high low spelled out correctly but they might be searching for it not spelled correctly so just in case somebody is searching for a high low type of clothing item you know whichever way they spell it they're more likely to land on my listing um, and then because this is a red riding hood type of thing that could fit for like a red riding hood um, costume I just put the word riding because I've already got red here and if somebody is looking for red riding hood and the search is going to probably find mine because I have the word red and riding and costume so somebody would be searching for red riding hood costume and I've got three of those words for that search so it's very likely that mine could come up um, and then um, it, this could also be used for a Christmas caroling costume so I typed in the word caroling now you know every time I do this I always think okay well there's like three forms of the word caroling that people might be searching under and I just had to pick one so like it could just be you could have typed in I could have typed in Christmas Carol costume or um, well I guess Carol or caroling two words but a lot of times there's like three versions and I'm like ah which one should I use um, and then and there might be rules about that that I'm not aware of so if you know of something already or if I find out I might do another video on it and then again this kind of has like this 50s uh, look to it so it, if you're like a person that likes to dress in vintage outfits just every day which I think is awesome um, I think this could work for every day it's just such a neat piece and um, of course if you're like a pinup model I think this could be amazing for a pinup model costume uh, just really neat piece so and of course I've got the word costume so I've got a lot this one was an awesome piece in general because it just there were so many ways you could use keywords to attract people to buy this and it worked and also you know anytime you've got a, anything that could be turned into a costume or utilized as a costume you know promote it that way like sometimes I find poet shirts and I will promote them as pirate costumes or um, whatever it is that I'm finding. I find a way to turn it in this turn it into something that could be promoted as a costume in my keywords, because um, that's I think probably one one good way to get your clothing s sold and or at least looked at. So, uh, anyways. Um, keep that in mind when you are putting together your listings just fill up as many words as you possibly can up in your description because that's the best way to get people to find your stuff for sale um, highly highly recommend that and um, 
Well, I was going to tell you guys a story about my kids. They always make fun of me. <laughs> oh my gosh, just thinking about it makes me laugh. Like, sometimes I'll sell something and I'll be like, guess what guys, I sold the red cake velvet satin lining high low, high low, riding caroling pinup 50s costume. And they just laugh at me. And they're like, why don't you write it in normal words? You don't have to write so much. And I'm like, but that's not how the internet works, you guys. So uh, anyways, it's just funny. Just one little funny thing that I do. Um, but thanks so much for watching. And I hope that this helps you to think about ways in which you can really zero in on those keywords. Because that's the one thing that you can do to help market your eBay items is to use really good keywords that are going to attract people. But also you got to remember, they need to be authentic. You don't want to be making up words that don't fit. And I think eBay actually has rules about that. Like if you're selling something that looks like, oh, I don't know, that looks like an Ed Hardy shirt. Um, you don't put that and it's not an Ed Hardy shirt don't put that up in the um, the title don't put looks like Ed Hardy uh, you might get a message saying not to do that um, but down in your description you could do that and that uh, I think in your description you can get uh, attract people um, that are shopping for certain things. Um, the the description itself is is a keyword area, but you want to be careful about not misrepresenting up in your title, if that makes sense. That's the important thing. You don't want to misrepresent what you're selling. So you know, like I wouldn't want to say you know, uh, gold jewelry, and then <laughs> there's a picture of a red cape. You know, like, <laughs> or, you know, iPhone 1497, and then they open it up and there's a picture of a cape. Like, and you don't want that anyways, because people, if they're not looking for that, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to want to buy it because they're looking for an iPhone. So, I mean, that's kind of a, an obvious example, but, um, but do be careful about misrepresenting as well. So... You use your keywords correctly and get creative and use as many keywords as you can that can attract people that are looking for various different things. Um, so that's my tip of the day. And again, I'm so honored that you took the time to watch this video. And um, hopefully I'll be talking to you again soon. Thanks.